hi all today we will see the angular just forms and the client side validations so before that i will tell you about what is angular just forms normally an angular just form is a collection of input controls input controls means the input elements select elements button elements text area input elements means the text box text area etc and select elements means uh, the drop drop down element drop down box and you all know about the button elements so <coughs> this input element select elements button elements this is already written so <coughs> all these are the html input elements and angular js form collects all this as a group so this group is known as angular js form the input controls input select text area are ways for a use to enter the data a form is a collection of controls for the purpose of grouping related controls together and form and input controls provide validations validation services so that the user can be modified sorry the the user can be notified of invalid input this provides a better user experience because the user gets instant feedback on how to correct the error and about no validate no validate is used to disable browser's native form validation normally the the browsers we use they have their own validations but angular just doesn't use the browser validation it has their own so that's why no validate the keyword no validate will disable the browser's native validation so that angular just can use its own validation so by using form only we can use our validation the angular just validation so it is used by the form angular just form the client side validation cannot alone secure user input server side validation is also necessary so angular just forms and controls can provide validation services and notify users of input invalid input so not only client side validation but also there are some of the server side validation services also in the angular js so <coughs> at first the uh, angular js will check the data what we enter through the client side validation and it is very fast after that there are some of the server side validation also which can be <coughs> used in the angular js in the angular js so let's start a angular js form program so it normally html the script loaded body now i'll write a form tag here ng app a div tag and then ng controller and 
there is no ng controller we'll leave it blank now write a script file func script function inside the script tag Oh, sorry. and write a function as form controller okay and write a, write the scope dollar scope is master and assign a collection uh, f name Durga and l name last name soft okay and then write a reset function for resetting the value leave it blank we will write the logic one save function For the time being, we will leave it blank for the logic purpose. And so, form's duty is to group the input elements together. So, okay, remove the script tag. So remove the script tag as this cannot be placed inside the form and the form tag now write a input uh, write a text box text and declare the ng model as user dot f name so what is user dot f name and why user dot f name if we declare the ng model as user dot f name once we will enter any text that value will be stored like this in this way it's a user value user, user variable inside it will store like this fname and the value which is your 
you are uh, entered in the text box suppose you entered john in this way it will create a collection if you write user dot f name like this another text box i will create and i will give it as user dot l name so in this way the collection will will be designed like this like this okay so create a create another text box give a breakpoint okay and i will change it as lnm so now button button and right ng click leave it blank we will write it we will call that appropriate function it will be reset button okay right another button so create another button it will be save and we will write that appropriate function or we will call we will call the appropriate function in save and reset so i want to call a reset function here on the click of this button which will reset the text as it is previous and save button to save that entered text so the program is just like a the user enters the text f name and l name and he wants to save it to the database so there is no database so we are creating a virtual database in our coding only and we are res resetting the entered text as it was previously so the master is that default f name and l name which will be every time when you refresh that program it will it will be visible in the both the text box durga and soft so what whatever you will write by removing this durga and soft in the two two text boxes that whenever you will save it will save to the database and when you will reset when you click on the reset button it will reset to durga and soft in f name and l name text box so how it looks we'll see this is the program i have written dummy see it looks like this so i will give a two labels it is f name first name and it is the last name 
and these are the buttons so so there is no default text so we will assign the master text to these two text boxes here it is the master text so how here I will write that logic dollar scope dot user this is the user collection so I am assigning the same collection to this user collection by writing a API angular dot copy and assign this to this one okay now call this function here so whenever the form controller will be called then this function also automatically be called and it will copy this default data to this user user variable which is the ng model